तो कैसे हैं आप लोग चलिए शुरू करते हैं बिना किसी देरी के जैसा कि आप लोग जानते हैं कि दो वीडियोस माइंड मैप की पहले ही अपलोड हो चुकी हैं चैप्टर वन एंड चैप्टर टू ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ एंड दिस इज़ द थर्ड चैप्टर ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन माइंड मैप वन ऑफ ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ एंड देयर विल बी मोर माइंड मैप ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विल बी अपलोडेड सोन सो लेट स्टार्ट ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम मेल एंड फीमेल नाउ मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सेक्स ऑर्गन दैट प्ले रोल इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन एंड दीज ऑर्गन आर लोकेटेड ऑन द आउट साइड ऑफ द बॉडी एंड विद इन द पेलविस फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज टेस्टिस सेमिनिफेरस टिब्यूल्स densely coiled tubules within the testis which are the site for spermatogenesis or production of sperms now testis or testicle is the male reproductive gland or gonad and it is homologous to female ovary remember this in adults each testis is oval in shape with a length of about 4 to 5 cm and width of about 2 to 3 cm second part is scrotum which accommodates testes and maintains low temperature for spermatogenesis scrotum is a pouch like structure that hangs behind the penis and it holds and protects the testicles function of scrotum is in maintaining the low temperature of testes around 2 to 2.5 degree celsius below body temperature third part is penis it is a long shaft organ that has an enlarged tip called glans penis which supports and is protected by the foreskin it is used for urination and acts as an organ for transfer of sperm fourth part is accessory glands now there are three parts of accessory gland first part cowper gland or bulbo urethral gland which produces lubricating fluid to penis now remember lining of these gland is made up of simple columnar epithelium and these are two in number the secretion of these gland also helps in lubrication and they adds only small amount to the semen second gland is prostate gland which provides alkaline fluid for protection of sperm from vaginal acidic media these account for 30% of semen and third is seminal vesicles which secretes seminal plasma and contains fructose calcium and enzymes which supply nutrient for sperm maturation these account 60% of the seminal plasma remember seminal plasma plus sperm is equal to semen next part is accessory ducts first is vasa afferentia which transfers sperm second epididymis which leads to vas deferens and stores sperm till maturation and third is vas deferens which leads to urethra and stores and transport sperm now we have completed the parts of male reproductive system next is female reproductive system part 1 is ovary located in the lower abdomen and produces ovum these are the primary female sex organ that produce female gamete ovum and several steroid hormones for example estrogen and progesterone these are steroid hormones this question is asked many times that which type of hormones are progesterone and estrogen so remember these are steroid hormones next is fallopian tube this is the connecting tube from ovary to uterus and consist of three parts infundibulum ampulla and isthmus infundibulum possesses finger like projection also called fimbri and 
कलेक्ट ओवम आफ्टर ओवलेशन सेकेंड पार्ट एम्प्यूला ट्रांसपोर्ट मैच्योर स्पर्म फ्रॉम इनफंडेबुलम टू इस्तमस एंड थर्ड ट्रांसफर फर्टिलाइज ओवम एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन साइट इज एम्प्यूला इस्तमस जंक्शन नेक्स्ट इज यूट्रस पियर शेप्ड वॉल एंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ पेरीमेट्रियम मायोमेट्रियम एंड एंडोमेट्रियम and site for development of embryo endometrium allows impregnation of embryo by placenta and endometrium degenerates resulting menstruation so we will make one more flow chart on menstruation next part is vagina which is also called birth canal and remain closed by membranous hymen the function of the vagina is to receive sperm next part is cervix is it is small canal and connect uterus to vagina it is cylindrical shaped neck of tissue that connect vagina to uterus and it is located at the lower most portion of the uterus cervix is composed of fibromuscular tissues next is external genitalia consist of labia minora labia majora mons pubis and clitoris now mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue labia majora are the fleshy folds labia minora are the pear fold under the labia majora and opening of the vagina is covered by a membranous structure called hymen and clitoris is a tiny finger like structure which which lies at the upper junction of the two labia minora and above urethral opening this was from ncert book you can read from there next part is accessory gland which is mammary gland part of mammary gland are lobes alveoli tubules mammary ducts ampulla and lactiferous ducts lobes which contain alveolar cells next alveoli which secrete milk tubules these are the tubes from alveoli which transport milk to duct now mammary duct transport milk to ampulla and ampulla transport milk to lactiferous duct then lactiferous duct stores milk now see don't get confused in ampulla of mammary gland and ampulla of fallopian tube one transport mature sperm another transport milk to lactiferous duct so this was the flow chart of parts of two reproductive systems next flow flow chart will be uploaded soon thank you very much